Hi, everybody. My name is Armin, and I'm back here today with Ken. So, Ken, um, what would you say um, some of the skills are that uh, uh, that a, a prospective producer would need to know? Some of the soft skills, some of um, like what movies uh, like would they need to watch, uh, stuff like that. Well, <clears throat> I think first and foremost, you know, you have to be uh, you have to be a student of contemporary media. I mean, you have to know television, you have to know film, you need to watch a lot, uh, you need to um, uh, internalize a lot of what is happening in the culture at that moment. You need to listen to music, you need to read books, you need to, you need to know where you are in the culture that you are trying to appeal to with, with any product that you are going right. to make. Okay, But I would say beyond that, you also uh, if you're going to be a, a producer or a writer or or a development uh, executive or any of those uh, kinds of creative uh, um, uh, jobs, you you should probably also have a background uh, in, in some ways, uh, you know, in in a, in a, a broad range of the arts and specifically in uh, you know Western literature. You should know. Uh, you should know uh, drama. You should know drama from the ancients through, uh, you know, through the modern uh, uh, playwrights. You should know drama, uh, uh, you know, as presented in in, in uh, the famous novels and uh, you know, and the contemporary novels. You should really have a broad spectrum uh, that you can draw from, and uh, which because you know the the truth is that those things never really go out of style, they just get updated. So until you know what those, those things are that you're drawing from in history, you don't know how to update them and make them work as contemporary media. So uh, this is why it's important, uh, you know, I think to have a broad-based education uh, as, as the groundwork for any of those kinds of jobs in the film industry. Right. Um, so. Uh so an entry level position for anyone who wants to go into um, into front office development producing um, is uh, is often being a script reader or, mm -hmm. or an intern that reads scripts. So mm -hmm. what advice would you give to someone um, uh, who has to write a script report or, or coverage, like in terms of format, in terms of commentary? Okay. Like how long to keep it and stuff like that. Well, okay. You know uh, that that's a great question, and you know I uh, I had the good fortune uh, when I was in film school that uh, uh, one of my professors, Dr. Uh, uh, James Boyle, who taught my introductory feature screenwriting class, he had a philosophy which was before you can write a good screenplay, you have to learn how to read a screenplay. Hmm. And much of what he taught us in that class was how to read. And he himself, by the way, was a studio script reader. And so one of the, one of the uh, exercises that he had us do in that screenwriting class was to read a lot of scripts and to write story reports. So I, I got my first introduction into that uh, in, in, uh, in film school. Uh, and luckily, uh, I kept all those story reports because I, I was able to use them uh, later as, uh, as the model. Uh, when I when I started working as a script reader and I and I worked uh, when I was younger as a script reader that's how I uh, how I got uh, into the business in some ways uh, but um, I'll tell you the the thing that, that a story report what it, what is the most important thing that a story report can do I mean it obviously it conveys basic information but um, it also and now this is the this is going to sound a little cynical but but I'm just being real with you here a lot of what you're doing when you write a story report for an executive at a company is you're telling them how they can call the agent and pass on the project. You're, give it, you're giving them the positive language that they can, look, they can use without having read the script because you're, you were paid to read the script, but you're, you're, you're giving them the polite way to say this writer is very talented and this writer does lots of things very well and uh, unfortunately we're going to have to pass. And by the way, you know, you say that even if you don't necessarily believe it. But you know, right. you know, sometimes some of these scripts were just awful. But but I could, you know, in writing a story report, I could never say this sucks, this is terrible, this is this is awful. Don't ever, uh, you know, you, I have nothing nice to say. I knew I could, I could. I'm not doing the executive 
uh, a, a service by saying that. I can, I can say it, but then I'm, then I'm going to say, however, but this writer can do this, this, and this, or this is what I would, you know, say, in, you know, uh, in defense of this writer, blah, blah. I would always come up with something positive. It's a good skill to have, by the way, even, uh, you know, outside of, of the arena of writing story reports. It's a good skill to have in working with anybody, is always, you know, to, to find the, the positive things about, about their work. But, um, but, uh, but there's that. Uh, you know, uh, your opinion at the end of the day, you know, a story report, it's basic information, it's a synopsis of the project, and it's opinion. Uh, the opinion, in some ways, is the least important part of it, um, because uh, your opinion is your opinion. But uh, the, the synopsis would be the next most important thing. Uh, and if this turns out to be a project that the studio or the company is interested in, you want to make sure that your synopsis is as accurate as possible. Now, you know, the funny thing about that is, by the way, that in writing uh, story reports, you often have scripts that are frankly incoherent, and you go, how in the world am I going to synopsize this script? But this turned out to be one of the great uh, learning tools for me uh, when it came to writing scripts. I would, I would read a 120-page calamity of a script that made no sense, and I would have to synopsize it, and I would go, I can't even synopsize <laughs> this. Well, then I would actually take it as a challenge to make sense out of that story. I'd wind up rewriting the story in my head just so I could synopsize it. It actually forced me to, to think in terms of how could I fix, you know, it's like I'm, I'm fixing the script as I'm writing the report in a weird way, and that was a skill that that served me very well later in life, uh, as, or in later years when I was a producer and I have a script and now I, you know, okay, I have a script that's got a problem, I know there's something good in it, how do I fix it? So I always read a script and I think, you know, how can I help the writer to make this better? So that, that is a useful skill that came uh, in, in to, to a large degree from my story writing script analyst days. Okay, Ken, thank you very much. That, mm -hmm. was, a, that was a very informative interview and um, I look forward to our next talk. Thank you.